guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee again. And we're doing, a, hopefully, one of our last little updates to this uh, redesign we did for the uh, rear hoop seat section of the body. Pretty happy with how everything came out. The last uh, little update we did, we got the last of the bars all final welded in. We got the sheet metal for, the, uh, for where your legs would sit. Uh, for the seat, notched down about an inch and a half, two inches, so that's gonna get us dropped down, uh, sitting a little bit lower. And now what I need to do, because we cut out this bottom bar that was in there before, is build some little body mounts. Uh, now this tubing does sit just a little bit higher than the body mount crossbar piece did previously. Uh, the reason I did that is this gets the seating position where we want, number one. Number two, we brought it just above the rear notch in the body so the torque tube is going to fit right in there really really nice but we don't have to build a little hoop uh, in the actual seat section so the seat's just high enough that it's going to clear and a torque tube will fit underneath which is really nice but what that did was that lifted this bar and the distance between the body mount to the actual tab on the frame is a little bit bigger now so i need to make uh, a mount that's going to hang off of this and will connect to a rubber mount uh, that will go through the frame. So I'm gonna work on patterning up uh, some simple little uh, body mounts here, get them attached, get them welded on, and we will be uh, pretty much uh, done all the heavy fabrication for this uh, redesign of the back part portion of the body.
All right, so that was basically one whole entire weeknight uh, that I worked on this, probably from, oh, I think I got out here maybe say 6.30 in the evening. It's probably, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night now, 9.30. And uh, so this stuff takes quite a while to make a simple part like this. Uh, it, it takes quite a while because you have to, you know, make the patterns like we showed. You have to trace them out. You have to cut them out. You have to sand them all to, to be the same size. Fit it together. Tack weld it. Heat it. Bend it. Tack it. Weld it. Sand it. Fit it. Drill it. <laughs> a, lo a lot of just a little bit of a lot of fitting to get everything to work together. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I didn't want to go too crazy with this mount. Um, some people might say I already went a little too crazy as is, but um, I was going to do some elaborate cast looking piece that had a bunch of speed holes drilled in it, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it didn't need it. It's hidden underneath of the seat and you're never going to see it. And um, I really need to keep this car moving. So this is pretty simple, but it's not just a piece of box tubing just uh, shoved together. Uh, I probably could have used a piece of box tubing and notched it out and gotten a similar effect, but this has a little bit of flow to it. Um, and uh, it just, it was pretty nice to make a piece out of some scrap uh, plate that I had laying around. So pretty cool. I have it all fit up. I welded across the top. There was a little bit of a gap at the top that um, where everything came together that I filled in at the top. So that keeps it in. I have it tacked around uh, the sides like you guys saw me dropping tacks in. And uh, of course it's bolted down. I used flathead V8 style biscuit motor mounts for the rear here. It worked perfect. Ran the bolt up through. Uh, I have a nut that is, there's a little window here that you guys saw that's uh, open so you can get a socket in there and uh, and hold that and tighten it up and should work pretty well um, And of course these mounts are really easy to get I had these just in my parts bin uh, Whenever I buy out stacks of parts from estates or wherever uh, Anytime I get these cheap like Speedway or Universal um, Flathead biscuit mounts. I keep them around because they're good for doing stuff like this and it didn't cost me a dime so that's all I have for this one. I got to build the other side yet, but I want to show you guys the process for this and make sure that we're keeping videos coming out to you guys three times a week. We do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, and uh, we really do appreciate everybody that's following along. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of this new TV tubing setup and this new mount. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback uh, on the project that we did today. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.